crystal with pineapple papers and I am definitely killing this kit um, with style is up to you um, so I am using the recipe from the face group book group so it is five types of embellishments so what I have here is just a bunch of different embellishments that I've pulled out so I have chipboard I have like a die cut I have frames I have enamel dots, I have rubber, um, and these like non brad brads. So I think in here there's probably five types of embellishment. So I think I'm good with that. And then four pattern paper. So I actually only picked out four patterns of paper. So we'll see if I can actually just stick to the four and not go over. And then three fonts. So this was my thought for fonts is I have some of these foam thickers. I have this wood veneer um, vacation and then I have this clear sticker um, which is another font. So I think that's what I'm going to try to use for my font. So those are my three fonts and then it calls for two pictures. So I'm going to use these two pictures of my daughter at the pool, and then it calls for one stencil. So I think I'm going to use this Heidi Swap polka dotted stencil. Not exactly sure how, but this paper I think is going to kind of be my inspiration. So I've actually pulled some paints, two from Art Anthology, and um, they are Mermaid and Cayman. And then I have two shimmers. I have a blings in gold glimmer and a shimmers in Moulin Rouge. And then I have this crazy bright pink bubblegum delusions paint. So I think that I am going to do something with that. This is my background. So this is part of my kit. It was just the cutout. Um, so I used that and then I just used um, a piece of paper from a paper pad that I wasn't going to use this one with the Scotty dogs. So and then I attached it with some gold sewing and I have already pre gessoed this paper. So let's see what I can do other than getting blurry. Okay so I did post this video and for some reason the voiceover that was attached to it that showed every which way did not come up. So I'm re-voiceovering it and trying again. So hopefully um, nobody's too upset. So I am using that six by six piece of paper up in the right hand corner as my inspiration. And the plan is to do the stripes in the same color as the paper. And I probably could have measured this out, but I didn't. I just hoped that I could get it right. If I didn't, then, oh, well, it's only a piece of paper. So the shimmers and blings that I have are the ones that have the fluid in them. So you just have to mix them up. And I don't have a yellow, but I figured gold was close enough and it was nice and shimmery, just like the rest of the colors. The only paint that I use that doesn't have shimmer is this bubblegum pink. And when I open it up, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so bright. It's like the brightest thing ever. But I just go with it. I was like, worst case scenario, I can add some white paint, but I love it. I think it's the perfect color and I love how that looks. So I do take that off to dry. Um, I did try to stick this stencil in the paint and my hope was that it was wet enough to actually leave the impression of the stencil, but it dried too fast. So I just went ahead and decided to spray it with this Sunlight uh, Tattered Angels Mist, which is pretty gold. And you can't really tell on the the video, but you can definitely see it in the close-ups and in person. So there is a nice close-up of it at the end. Now, because I love the 
painting on the background so much, I don't want to cover it completely up with paper. So I have these two pictures of my daughter playing at the pool and I'm just going to do some paper layering. Now the idea behind my paper layering today is that I want to do a neutral, a color, a neutral, and a color. So each piece of pattern paper stands out on its own. Now the, the inspiration piece of pattern paper I really want to showcase the most. So it is going to be the widest layer. And initially I was hopeful that the paper was big enough that actually that dark blue would touch the dark blue paint and the dark pink would touch, touch the dark pink paint, which is not quite, but it's, it's definitely close enough. So I'm going to pop up my photo cluster on some foam. And that way, if I decide I want to tuck any little embellishments under, it gives me a little bit of space. So here I am playing with the different fonts and I put it on a piece of wax paper. That way I can kind of move it around and kind of see spacing wise how I want to do that before I actually commit to putting anything down. So I kind of have it where I like it and so I take it off the wax paper and commit and I had one little heart left on that piece of paper so I decided to put that on some wax paper and put it over there as the beginning of a cluster. Now I'm going to take these enamel dots and I do have an enamel dot for each of the colors so I'm super excited about that. So I'm definitely doing some color blocking and getting those enamel pieces. I even found some white enamel dots which I did put on the white and I am going to put that pink frame on the bottom with a cute little pink sentiment and add some sunglasses just because we're at the pool and hanging out. And I do trial a bunch of the oh. ephemera that I have pulled out and some make it and some don't along with that little star. I tried to spread a little bit of gold around the page just because I love gold. I don't know. Gold goes with everything. I have a feeling that gold ends up on all of my pages. Remember back in the day when gold didn't end up on the pages? It was all silver. So I'm curious when we're going back to that. So we'll see. But here are some close-ups. And in this first photo, you can see it almost looks like water drops, but those are the stencil with the mist. So I hope that you are enjoying July, even though this was a June layout. So remember to wear your crown and we'll see you next time.